Good morning, Diane here with a day in the life of a retired person. Yes, I have been retired for about four and three quarters years. So I call this my retirement vlog or um, how much, and I do it weekly, <laughs> and you could also call it how much I don't get done from week to week. So here we are. And today is August. No, it is not. It is July. I was marking my calendar for August, September, and October things this morning. That's why I've got August on the brain because it's so close. Do you believe it's so close? Today is July 20th, 2022. 72022. And that is the 29th week of 2022. And the 29th week of 52 weeks of dishcloths being July. I'm still. This is the last week of Christmas in July. I know I still have another uh, week in July to uh, broadcast a 52 weeks of dishcloths, but it won't be a Christmas one. Promise. Okay, it's another variegated. Here it is. Now, as variegated goes, I love this. I think because there's more white in it. But remember last week's, which I said I didn't love? Well, I finished it because I told you I'd show it to you and finished. Here it is. It's a twelve. Oh, I don't know. I don't have it. It's a bigger, a bigger washcloth. Like you could use it as a little placemat on the table for plants or whatever. Maybe put a nice candy dish down with Hershey Christmas kisses in it on the holidays. But um, in judging a variegated, I have to be fair and say maybe it is this pattern. There is white in this variegated as well, but the lengths of color are longer. I think that's what it is. Because see, this is this is what this skein looked like. The, the name of last week's skein was, I believe it was I Love Christmas. And this one is number 104. And it's called Christmas Print. And also, I used Grandma's Favorite or, what was it, something, Grandma's Favorite, you know, I can, if you don't remember this pattern, I can give you this pattern, like right now if you have a pencil, cast on four, turn, knit one yarn over, finish till the end of the row, until you have 45 stitches across each row, you're increasing one stitch each row so you have 45 then once you have 45 you knit two together yarn over knit two together till you have four then you cast off that's how easy this one is that's why um it has a lot of different names but we'll call it grandma's favorite i have linked to it before um i'll look it up and link to it again because you can do that one definitely in a night so had I used this variegated in that pattern, it might have made a difference. I don't know. I might try that and report back. I will report back if I do try it this week. Last week I told you I'd report back regarding my uh, zucchini quiche. Well, I didn't do it yet. But all the ingredients are still good because sour cream lasts a long time and I just bought it last Wednesday. And I can make dough anytime, so... I might do it today. I don't know. I'm a little lazy and I am trying to finish. <laughs> I'm always trying to finish something, aren't I? Well, I won't get that. I won't get that far into that today. Um, I promise next week will not be a Christmas, a Christmas dishcloth. Is there any news of the week? I don't think there's much news. We had visit a visit yesterday from Dennis's cousin whom he had not seen in 40 years. He and his wife live in Florida. They're about 10 years older than us, and they came up north to visit some of their old friends because a lot of their family, their, their kids followed them down there, not in, not just because they left, but because one got relocated due to his job, and the other person, I forget why the daughter went, but it wasn't because their parents went there, but it, it was a plus because they were there. So we had a nice visit yesterday. So that was out of the ordinary for us because we don't normally have, that's what I would consider company. We have drop-ins. <laughs> you know, like when you're having company, you want to clean up the house. But if you're having drop-ins, you don't know they're coming. So people, 
can just come anytime. We constantly have drop-ins. So anyway, that was a little different for yesterday. Um, today, today, uh, my dad dropped in and uh, he needs his license renewed. Uh, so he brought over his form for me to fill out because it's harder for him. My mother had the same problem. That's harder for him to write nowadays. I don't think it's because of aging. I think it's because they don't write. My mother never would write anything. My father doesn't write anything. He don't use checks anymore. He uses his credit card for everything. He very rarely will write a check. And when he does, a lot of times he'll come over and have me write it for him and he'll just sign it because he can see that line. But anyway, he came over for me to um, fill out his driver's license renewal form and also to go online and make his appointment at AAA for his license to be renewed. Most people can just renew online, but because of his advanced age, he has to have a, a test, a, a blood test. No, <laughs> what am I saying? My husband went for a blood test this way today. Um, my father has to have an eye test, although they always check our eyes, but he has to have an eye test every two years, I think it is. So I introduced him into the AAA option of getting your license renewed, and he thought that was great. And I took them over in Cumberland to the uh, AAA office. So that's what we're doing tomorrow morning. So um, calendars are always filling up. It's only a little thing. It's not It's not like it's something I'm uh, complaining about, although it does sound like I'm complaining. It just, I'm not good at starting up after I've done something. I don't know if you feel like that. Like if I do something in the house, okay, then I can continue to my next thing and my next thing and my next thing. And I usually have a list, but if I go out of the house, well, first of all, I'm going to put on different clothes Oh, like this, the late show with David Letterman. Yes, Diane, the eighties are calling. <laughs> the 80s called and David Letterman wants his shirt back. This is back in the day when Late Show was on NBC because I think that was the 80s. And then by the 90s, he was at CBS because I used to go all the time to the tapings of the shows. Well, I shouldn't say all the time. I probably went 12 times, I'd say. Maybe more. Okay, back to the thing at hand. I don't wear my inside. Like, I wouldn't go out of the house right now the way I'm dressed. So if I'm going to have to dress up different, um, and that, and the reason for that, the reason I don't wear clothes that would, uh, that could be worn outdoors <laughs> is because I'm, I'm usually doing something that I mess up all my clothes. I spill stuff. The dogs jump on me. They, they have dirt on them and they jump on me. And so if I have to go out, I have to change up. And that includes if I'm wearing shorts, I have to wear pants. I got to put on shoes. I usually don't wear shoes. So I get all dressed. And then I get out and I do whatever it is I have to do out, outdoors. It could only take an hour. Like tomorrow, probably take an hour for me to bring my dad and bring him back. But then I'll get home and it's like, oh, I don't want to do those dishes. So I can, I'll force myself to load the dishwasher. But normally I do like those things early in the morning. Like I do all the housework kind of stuff, clean the counter, load the dishwasher, plan if there's going to be something I cook that day, cook it early especially now because we're having a heat wave here in New England, so that's pretty hot. But, um, so that kind of stuff is done. But for me to start a project when I come home, it's hard for me to get motivated. It's much easier to pick up knitting and do some knitting and watch a movie, which is not the best thing to do when you've got the, you know, a day. So I'm digressing like crazy. So anyway, I don't even remember my point. <laughs> and I'm not playing this back to figure it out. So anyway, a day in the life of a retired person. You have all the time in the world and you get nothing done. Or very little. Well, that's it for this week. Hope you're, if you're in New England, you're probably enjoying this heat if you love the heat. I detest the heat. I know you probably... I don't know why. I guess because if it's cold, I can always put on a sweater or a shawl. But if it's hot, you can't cool off unless you just stay in the shower for the whole day. I don't go to the ocean. I don't go places like that. Okay, so we'll see you next week. 
enjoy the enjoy the weather summer's short it's time to enjoy thanks for watching bye now